Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we've been having just a little bit of a problem with humidity, I guess, with, in the attic. Um, it's been drawing a lot of moisture and just really wreaking havoc on the wood and the rafters and everything. And we wanted to, we shopped around and we came up with this one. This is by Shinko. It is a dehumidifier and this is it's a wonderful machine I want to basically just talk about it just a little bit in this video today um, it does have a four liter tank in the front of it uh, now we did use it I think about three hours and it filled filled it up I guess to about right in here was where it was at so and it's really quiet too when it runs. That was one of the things that I noticed. And we just kind of overlooked that while we were shopping how loud one could be because some of them is really loud, but it does, your tank has a handle on it. And the reason we wanted to go with this one is because of this drain plug right here. Um, mainly because once you take it off, it does come with a little hose, just a little clear hose that slides up onto this inner fitting on the inside here but the thing that really drew us in was you can hook a water hose up to it you can have a 50 foot water hose however you know long you want it uh where we're running it from the attic down that way we don't have to keep going up and down because we have one of the ladders that lets down folds out that way we don't have to keep climbing up it we can just put a five gallon bucket under it which is a lot more than the tank itself holds anyway and let it run off and not have to check it as often and then you just basically go and dump it and come back and set it right back up um it does have it's got a pretty long power cord um and it is heavy duty there is replacements for it if something happens to it so let's say this cord you know just gets a nick in it or the skin place they will replace the power cord um i haven't even taken off the warning sticker yet but it's the your your basic three prong plug in just with a heavy duty cord and <clears throat> you can wrap your cord up on it right here as well another good feature is it rolls so you don't always have to carry it but if you do have to carry it it does have a handle and it's very sturdy i, I carried it down i forget how many steps is actually on that but it's i think 12 if i'm not mistaken to get up to the attic so i, I carried it down that ladder by the handle so if you want to, we'll come over here and look at the features and the settings on top of it. So this is, of course, your power button. And then you have, you can have it on auto or continuous. Um, basically, I, I leave it on continuous all the time. Auto, you have to set a schedule with auto. So that way it'll, it knows when to kick on and off. If you don't want it to be a dehumidifier, and if you live in a like a small apartment, you can set your inside dryer on and it'll dry your clothes if you have like a clothes hanger on the inside of your house and the fan has two speeds it has high and low on that and then this is your humidity readout and uh your percentage of what your humidity actually is and in the manual i was reading as well that there's certain temperatures if it's below 40 degrees it has a little harder time doing that uh, mainly because on the back you have really, really good filter right here. I don't want to pop that off because it's a little bit hard to get back on there, but it is cleanable. So you can take it out and clean the filter and go right back to town. Um, right here, it, uh, the capacity is uh, 30 PT, which is equal to uh, 80 degrees and then 69.6. So, you want to keep it right around there in that um of course you know your your plug-in it is uh 110 which of course it'll work on you know 220 but it will work on 110 if that is a question that comes up um but like i said we got it because of of our attic um be honest with you we really didn't even know that it had the dryer feature on it which is perfect for you know if you don't have a big yard if you're in a you know confined uh spaces like you know more city type area don't have a dryer just hang them up and this will dry it doesn't take all that long i think a couple hours and it dries it because it puts a lot of air out on the top and pulls it out 
you know, comes through the filter, dries everything out. So it's a really cool little little dehumidifier here to have. And like I said, it covers, I forgot to even say that. I'm so sorry. It, uh, 1500 square feet is what it'll pull moisture out of. So it like with us, if you put it in the attic in your space where your ladder comes down, be sure to close that up. That way it doesn't try to pull anything from down below because our attic, it goes the entire length of the house. So that's, it's covering all that area. And do want to point out that it is energy star it doesn't take a whole lot of energy to run this thing so i mean you're really not even going to see it on your power bill um but we got it just to get rid of some of that humidity so we can get up there and fix the roof later on and kind of a first step process for us but we'll leave a link down below if you want to check them out um they're always good to have you know in your house if, especially if you're if you know if you live next to water or like this year we've had a so much rain, so much snow. So check it out. It could save you potential damage down the road. And we gave 108 for it from Amazon. And uh, I think that's what they still are on there right now. Either way, you'd be able to see it in the link. Um, but that's basically it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about it, go ahead and comment. Like I said, we've run it for about three hours is all we've run it so far. But we're getting ready to plug it back up and let it run for an entire day. So if I have any problems, I'll be sure to add that in the comments. So thanks for watching and hit that like and subscribe button. Have a good one.